Welcome back to episode 8 of our F1 2021 My Team Career Mode. In the last episode, the AR12 Motorsports team had its best result ever when all of the AI decided to crash into each other. We have 9 days on the activity timeline that we can go and fill up, so how exactly do I want to do it? Probably starting with this durability equipment upgrade brings us some resource points which are always helpful. I also saw this added some massive boosts for myself as a driver, 500 driver acclaim. That is massive, so let's definitely go for that. If I'm honest, I'm not really a big fan of any of these, but I think I'm gonna go with this chassis team building event to give us some more morale for our chassis department. We've been lacking recently, so hopefully that helps a little bit. After that, we can jump over to our facilities themselves. Now, we have 1.7 million bucks in the bank. Do we want to use some of that? Here's the thing, we could come to our powertrain department, for example, and wait until we have 2.2 million so we can do two upgrades at a time. Or we go in right now and continue to upgrade the driver stats of Jack Aitken. You know what? 1.2 million bucks to boost our racecraft awareness and the focus of Jack Aitken sounds pretty good. So yeah, let's let's go for that. 1.2 million bucks spent. On the same sort of topic, Jack Aitken is gonna be flying today because he now has a second driver pace stat boost that we did in the last episode so he is going to be rapid and even more so because today we have three upgrades that might actually be coming to the car. Unfortunately though, because we're working on all of those upgrades, all of our departments are currently maxed out. So even though I have 2000 resource points, I can't actually use them just yet. We'll come back to that in one second. I have a sneaky idea I wanna try. However, one other thing, we can now sign a second sponsor for AR12 Motorsports. Now I've actually already come through here and taken a look at all of the available sponsors. And I really like these guys, ZigZag. They have an awesome weekly income pay and an awesome goal bonus pay and all we have to do is complete 30 laps as a team during a race weekend which is really really easy so zigzag welcome to the squad thank you for your dollar dollar bills that is gonna help so much continue to upgrade our facility here's what we're gonna do right off the bat we're gonna start oh hello chassis department we've gone one day thanks to a breakthrough in development we have some additional resources to invest in r d however the chassis department are arguing that they're currently the best place to maximize the value of those resources and so devoting them exclusively to their department would allow them to make some significant gains Ooh, so i can get 50 percent off race dampeners which will save me about 250 resource points or I can just say no you and get a thousand resource points lads the the choice is clear with that one let's let's chuck that one on thank you very much and let's keep advancing the time there we go first upgrade applied we're gonna pause right away pause pause Thank you. That is amazing news. Aero department gets a new part on as well as our chassis department. That is huge. The really good thing though is now our departments aren't actually maxed out. So let's go and do some more upgrades. We have an engine cover upgrade that we can do for weight reduction. That is going to be super, super worth it. Let's get that going. And we also have one slot in our aero department. Where do we want to spend this one? Maybe increasing our top speed wouldn't be a bad idea. Redesign the brake ducts. Always a good one. Let's go for that. We'll go back over to our activity timeline. Keep advancing the time. There we go. Our second driver's upgraded even more. We have another event, personnel department. We want to inject some variety into Aitken Simulator program. So we're making some changes to today's session. What do you want us to focus on? Consistency, he gets seven experience or racecraft. Both of which kind of do the same thing, but let's go, let's go even more racecraft. What can go wrong? Let's keep advancing the time. No! No, our rear wing failed. No, the development failed. That sucks. So 
Let's go in there, let's fix it up. 0% chance of failure. It uses no resource points, but still, I guess let's advance one more day. We've arrived at Silverstone. Our second driver, Jack Aitken, look at his racecraft and pace and everything. This man is about to get some serious points today. Anyways though, with all of that done, let's jump over to the circuit. I'm gonna do practice and I'll rejoin with you guys for qualifying. So welcome to Silverstone for a little bit of qualifying. Practice went awesome. However, for some reason, this car with the new upgrades that it's got on it right now, feels very difficult to drive. I'm really not sure why. I'm a little bit nervous about this today. I do not want to end up backwards in a cloud of my own tire smoke. Silverstone's always been one of those tracks that I'm kind of iffy at, although I've played this track literally hundreds, probably thousands of times at this point. It's never really been a very good one for myself. I did actually come in and take a look at the weather. It might actually rain very, very shortly in qualifying, which might make things a little bit spicy if people don't get their laps in on time. Come on though, AR12 Motorsports car, get it to the line. 1.1 seconds off the pace, yeah, that... It doesn't sound very good. I think you can see what I mean. I struggle here. It's just, it's not one of my favorite circuits. Yo, there is that rain. It's actually a 21% chance of rain right now. So who knows? It could rain at any point for now. I'm going to get some new soft compound tires on and just, just wait for now and we'll see what happens. My teammate Jack Eight, with all of his crazy boosts right now is absolutely rapid. That is what I mean when I say there is way more performance in this car than we think right now. And he is proving it nearly a second faster than myself. We're definitely gonna have to do another lap. Okay, we got lucky. There's no rain just yet. I'm gonna do this lap with no talking. I've got to improve massively, no joke. We are looking so good out here right now. This has been like a picture perfect lap. A little bit sus on this final corner. That's where I had a bunch of trouble in practice, so I need to keep it clean through there. That's gonna be my number one point of failure, but let's see how I qualified. That felt really good. Lewis Hamilton though, absolutely stomps it. This man is unstoppable. More than half a second faster than Max Verstappen and he destroys his own teammate. That's just, that's just rude how badly he beat everybody. Meanwhile, where are we? Yes, we out qualified our teammate by only 0.2 seconds. I will take that P15. Who knows though what the actual starting grid is gonna look like. I guess Lewis finally swapped in a brand new engine and that's why he was able to put in that insane time considering he blew up his engine in the last episode. Anyways, the two McLarens are looking very, very good. Pierre Gasly all the way up in P8, that's really good. Yuki in P10, we gotta watch out for him, he's a sneaky boy. Aston Martin not having a bad result. We are holding P15 and P16 very nicely. Watch out for Kimi sending it, same thing with George Russell and Carlo no science picks up a penalty starting in dead last. So what's the race strategy looking like for today? No way, it's a one pit stop strategy around Silverstone. Starting on the softs, then jumping on the mediums on lap 11. That, that sounds easy enough for me, all right? Without further ado, clutches in, rev it up. And away we go for the British Grand Prix blistering start. Nearly goes right into the back of Lance Stroll. Missed a shift there, could have been quicker. But my teammate is flying up to P14. Didn't have the confidence. Up the inside, we go on Lance Stroll now. We're in an Aston Martin sandwich. What a brilliant start. P15 to P13, hanging around the outside of the old boy Vettel. They're going three wide into the left-hander. I'm, I'm getting on the brakes early. I do not want to be any part of that because there's going to be an airplane crash. I'm not really expecting to score any points today. It would be great to score some points today, but I don't, I don't really expect to. You can really, really see the speed difference though between Sebastian Vettel and myself. 
I just, I do not have the pace in this car today. For the past two races in Austria and in France, the car felt fantastic, but today I'm, I'm not sure what it is. It's just, it's sloppy. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm trying to drive it as cleanly as I can, but it's just, I don't know. It feels off today. Like you can see it understeering into the grass and stuff. Anyways, lap number one done. We go up to P13, that is not bad. I mean, hey, I've got loads of battery. Let's keep it up. Whoa, and my DRS is broken. This car's coming together on lap number two of this Grand Prix though. This is actually feeling pretty good for a shit box. There we go, sitting in Sebastian Vettel's slipstream. Look to the inside, thank you very much. Late on the brakes, we're going wheel to wheel through the right hander, leave him a bit of room. I've run out of DRS, or, or, or battery, excuse me. But we make it stick. That is P12, thank you. No, 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 now Vettel can fight back with his DRS, hang it around the outside. We've got to keep that Aston Martin behind. And I've got to catch up to Ocon. And I've got to hope my DRS fixes itself, please. We need a quick fix on that DRS, please. Sebastian Vettel is coming. Here comes Sebastian Vettel. Up the outside. We're still going wheel to wheel. Inches apart from one another right now. This is insane. This is so insane. This is about to end up in the world's biggest crash, though. Woo! Okay, luckily Vettel pulled out of that one. Thank you very much. Ooh, hello, Jeff. How are you doing? Um, could you not bother giving me new strategies and just work on fixing my rear wing, please? Because if he gets past, I am screwed. Anyways, new strategy coming on lap 13 instead of 11. No problem, Sonny. Other good news for the AR12 Motorsports fans. We are faster than Sebastian Vettel. No. I, I, I don't understand how. I was able to break the slipstream a couple of laps ago on him, and I've just been running away ever since then. It's not by much, but I am pulling away from Sebastian Vettel, which is something I didn't think I'd be saying today. I'm still working on catching up to Esteban Ocon. He seems to be really, really quick in front, so I'm gonna keep putting the laps in, and we're gonna keep catching him up, hopefully. Don't panic just yet, but uh, we've seen a problem at our end. We're looking into it. Jeff, what are you saying? Repeat, repeat. It's not good news, I'm afraid. Seems like an engine issue. The issue seems to be fixed, but we will keep monitoring it our end. Jeff, you're the most wishy-washy person in existence. Is there any white smoke coming out of my exhaust pipe? No, there's not. Okay, I'm definitely down on horsepower. Well, this entire race just got turned on its head. I, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get any form of points today. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to finish this Grand Prix. This car, this car is just not providing me with any confidence right now. Here goes my teammate, Jack Aitken. I'm actually gonna lift, I'm gonna let him go past. Go, go for the good of the team, go please. I might even consider going for an early pit stop. I think Carlos Sainz just did it. No, Giovinazzi just went for a very, very early pit stop. Carlos Sainz is behind me. You know what though, lads? I'm, I'm gonna go in on this lap. I'm gonna see if I can get an undercut strategy and not slow down my teammate. Wait, I'm in P11? People must have gone in and I missed it. My bad, my bad, my bad. Yeah, there goes Kimi Raikkonen now past me. Nothing I can do about that one either. No joke, I think we're gonna need to swap out this engine. Oh my God. Oh my God. Please don't hit me. Please don't hit me. Oh no. Thank you for not hitting me. Thank you, pit limiter, go. Thank you, very good, very good. We slowed down beautifully. Verstappen opted for the hards. Lando Norris behind me, actually now in front of me, is on the mediums. I'm not sure if I've made the right choice. No, Lance Stroll went for mediums. That's mediums, mediums, mediums. Everybody's going for mediums. Okay, I didn't mess up. And away we go. Not, not great, not great. I'm, I'm actually furious with how good the past two races went. This one is just terrible. I, I never thought I would say it, but I've been overtaken by a Williams. And that is the most embarrassing thing that's happened all season. It is so frustrating driving this car right now. 
No, like, look at, look at George Russell. 1.9 seconds in front. What am I supposed to do about that? Oh, boy. Embarrassing. Absolutely embarrassing. How am I getting overtaken by a Haas? Oh, my God. I cannot believe what I'm seeing. I, I can't. <laughs> you are kidding. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That was a heck of an impact. Let me know you're okay. Well, that was a fun race. Said nobody ever. No, there's there's no point in rewinding. The the car's done. The car is totally done. I don't know what was wrong with the engine, but no joke, it didn't work. Not even a little bit. And to nobody's surprise, Mercedes takes it. P1. Lewis gets the victory at home. It's actually a P1, P2 for Mercedes. Max Verstappen, P3. At least Jack Aitken was able to do rather well well. P14 for him. I think that's his best position in F1 so far. He actually beat Carlos Sainz. No way. That's awesome. In terms of the standings, Valtteri Bottas actually overtakes Max Verstappen. So it's Mercedes P1, P2 for that as well. Max really needs to pick up the pace if I'm honest. Constructors wise, nothing is actually changing. Everybody's kind of spaced out pretty nicely other than our team and Alpine who is tied with four 41 a piece. That though is where we're gonna wrap up this episode of our F1 career mode. I hope you guys enjoyed. It was a little bit of a disappointing one because our engine went kaput. On the bright side though, we got some awesome upgrades on the car. In the next episode, we're gonna get even more upgrades on the car. We've got a bunch of resource points, a bunch of money. We are gonna be very fast very, very soon. Subscribe if you wanna see that. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.